Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. So today we will work completely regarding towards the digital sensors, and there won't be a much kind of. Uh, uh, explanation regarding those uh, digital sensors and all uh, we will be just uh, going directly into that particular part by means we already had discussed uh, regarding the particular digital sensor uh, during the starting of the session i hope on day two or day three i'm not sure that so today we will be integrating that particular digital sensor with raspberry pi so we will be seeing that uh, coming programming lines everything will be there pulse oximeter so spo2 completely comes under the section of pulse oximeter which works in the form of i2c i2c is commonly said as inter integrated circuits okay inter integrated circuit means within the circuit itself we have another one particular circuit so here pulse as well as oxygen level also will be applied over here similarly we have seen in another device also which is known as uh, contactless temperature sensor so inside the temperature sensor also we are having two applications one is ir and another one is the temperature sensor so from this both particular sensors are having same functions only one is to measure that particular device and the other uh, other thing is to contact with the multiple functions so two functions will be regularly it will be applied over there and how that particular i2c we are finding out in case if you are going with miso mosi clk d in like this if you are going means it comes under spi protocol serial peripheral interface the same thing if you are going for scl sta these two pins are there means it is can it can be easily said as i2c so here on to this particular data v in scl sta int int is nothing but interrupt ird rz rd and gnd so from this we have to connect only the four pins v in scl sta interrupt and commonly uh, we have to be connecting our power supply the v in and the ground so totally five pins will be there so from this particular integrations only we will be able to measure both the heart rate as well as the oxygen meter so this will be that particular circuit diagram so sta to sta scl to scl v into 3 volt 3.3 volt and ground to ground now let us go for the coding part so here this will be that particular coding so here uh, we have some library files also for this particular coding like heart rate monitor hr calculation hr means heart rate calculation it is and uh, max 30102 dot py that particular all that i2c integrations will be provided over here so let us access this through terminal yeah so now we have access the terminal with the help of cd cd is nothing but known as change directory those who have worked under the linux this is very simple so I like change directory i have pasted the required path and therefore i can access the path hereafter for multiple integrations now let us see what are all happening inside each and every folder or each and every file so hereby uh, we are starting with max 30102.py so from this if you are just going means here we have to just uh, work this complete function and along this function we are having that interrupt status so from that interrupt status only we have to know how it should be connected and what should be provided and the register address is 0x00 then status to 0x01 30x02 and enable part so from that enable part only 0x02 so automatically once whenever you are integrating this i2c towards this SCL and sta this 
interrupt status interrupt enable counter everything will be applied so here we no need to just uh, complicate any kinds of con connections and all once whenever you are getting inside that i2c itself it is very simple why we are connecting this kind of devices means to get a rated data without any losses so from that particular losses how we will be integrating means based on this register address only these register address and all we will be calling it in the form of sms so from that sms we will be already having that particular uh, requirement inside this device itself so here uh, we have to install one of the package like sudo apt get install ideally because this particular thing will be able to run only in python 2.7 version so that is a particular requirement sudo python yeah actually we have to run main.py so that should be in reset mode so from this particular uh, register address we have to run that particular register mode and along with we have defined a class for max 30102 so this will be the class we will be calling into our main part so here we can see that yeah so here we have imported that max 30102 max 30102 okay so this is the common file name so how to import that our own libraries means here we can see that the file name is max 30102 py not py the same thing here we have defined the class as caps so therefore the first thing is import the file name from that file name we are importing this class so that is the process here we have done similarly we have another one class known as heart rate calculation so hr calculation means heart rate okay so from this we are writing our heart rate calculation which is known as sample underscore frequency and from that uh, we are providing the maximum size the maximum size of samples uh, it should be four four samples only it will be collecting and the buffer size so how much time it should take for the buffering option so that is 100 so each and everything the sampling frequency or the four everything uh, the maximum size of the samples everything will be com committed on the form of signals so from this particular signal whenever we touch this particular sensor like so here we can see that particular sensor this sensor whenever we are just touching over here from that it should be able to read the heart rate and the other requirements so now how the calculation is done means complete data is read through the numpy package so from that particular numpy package here we have to declare all the shape so first step is to calculate the threshold so minimum as well as the maximum value and after that the peak interval also will be calculated which will be separating both oxygen as well as the pulse so this particular peak interval how it is getting calculated means sample frequency into 60 divided by peak interval of sum so total number of peak interval with the sample frequency multiplied with the 60 so 60 means one minute so, so within 60 seconds how much we are able to take the data so that much data only it will be taken as the heart rate i hope many of them might have been gone through that uh, basic classes basic in our school classes as well how to calculate the pulse uh, once when we stop uh, i mean holding the hand so by seeing the watch for one minute so based on that only within one minute we must have the reputed kind of heartbeats so that belongs to this particular heart rate calculation 
so for that only this particular file has been applied rest all comes under that uh, manipulations like some plus or minus uh, manipulation should be done inside the sensor since this is a digital one so for that particular calculation only here we are applying this index range also for localization now these two files has been imported over here from this we are completely calculating the bpm so bpm valid bpm spo2 valid spo2 so just for the comparison purpose and from that we will be able to take that complete data in the form of a percentage so start sensor if there is no kind of issues stop the sensor if there is any kind of issues delay more than 2.0 timeout so in this integration only here we will be working with the digital sensors especially i2c with raspberry pi thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel